Has this ever happened to you? You've been editing perhaps a podcast episode or something like that with multiple people participating. And as you're editing, stuff gets out of sync and it's just really hard to keep everything aligned as you're cutting pieces from one track and there are multiple tracks there. That's a common problem. And today we're going to talk about that. What's happening, podcast editors? This is Brian Ensminger, and I'm a podcaster and a podcast editor, and I want to see you be successful with your podcast. Today we're talking about a pretty common problem, and it's something that came up in one of the groups that I'm in, and there's a pretty easy way to address it in Hindenburg Journalist or Journalist Pro, so I'm going to show you how to do it with that. If you're using different software, you may want to look for similar features in your software, but it's going to probably work a little bit differently. So if you're working in Hindenburg Journalist or Journalist Pro, I'm going to go ahead and show my desktop, you might be working with something that looks like this. I have two tracks. For the sake of the demonstration, I've deleted part of one of the tracks as though it was not important. That's just to help us quickly see what's going on. But if you've ever done something like this, you know how easy it is for things to get out of alignment. Let's say, for example, that this part of the episode needs to be cut, right? So that's something that needs to go away. Now, depending on what software that you're using, there might be different ways to take care of this. Uh, for example, maybe you need to select that and then delete it, and then you have to grab things and drag them, and then you drag them and you try and keep them all lined up, right? So that can be kind of tough. In Hindenburg, you've also got the option to delete that section and have it remove the silence that's here, and this portion here is gonna move forward. So I'll show you how that works. Right, so we've got that, but the problem is it left this piece where it was. So then you still got to try and figure out how to manually align that. So that's still not getting us what we're looking for. In Hindenburg, there are two ways that are really easy to do this. One of them is just simply, if you want to use this cut, it's kind of like a ripple delete in some other software, but if you want to use that function, you just select across all of the tracks where you want to do the same function, and then you can hit either clear which cleared both of them. You saw that there was a little bit of a clearing, right? Or you hit cut and it's gonna remove the silence and it keeps those two things aligned. So that's one way that you can do that. The other is if you can do what's called a link track. So I'm gonna, I've clicked on the, um, the title of one of those tracks. I'm gonna control click or shift click or, which, or command click depending on what kind of computer that you're using and select the other. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose link tracks. And what that's going to do then is anytime I select a region on one of these tracks, it's going to select the same portion on the other. But the tracks that aren't linked, if I select those, it only selects that track, right? Now I can still select across that, but as soon as I cross this track divider, it's going to select both of those, okay? So the value of this, if you've got your tracks linked, is that you can then select this particular region right here and when you hit cut, it's going to do just what we talked about before and cut that. But you don't have to try and worry about selecting across multiple tracks. You can just select the region on one track and it will automatically apply those changes to both tracks. So that's the really quick and easy way to address this kind of thing if you're working in Hindenburg Journalist or Journalist Pro. If you're a Hindenburg Journalist user and you haven't already connected with our group on Facebook, you can find us at hindiusers.com. That'll redirect you to a group of about 500 or so Hindenburg Journalist or Journalist Pro users who are out there using this for podcasting or for radio production or that kind of thing. And we fairly regularly have questions like this kind of thing come up. And we, a lot of times we'll have answers for those. So if you want to connect with people like you, hindiusers.com is the place for all of that. If you are a podcaster or a podcast editor and you want to up your game and maybe you need to talk to somebody about what you're doing or how you might be able to do it better, you can definitely hit me up. I'm at toptieraudio.com. That's where you'll find my website, links to social profiles, all of that kind of stuff is toptieraudio.com. And one final thing, if you found this valuable, if you think that you know somebody that might benefit from this, I'd ask that you give me a quick thumbs up and share it with somebody so that they can benefit from this too. Thanks so much for watching. Now go out there and make a great podcast.